Hey, it's Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida. Welcome to the kitchen. There we go. Sit back, relax. You are about to watch a Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Okay, I'm feeling hungry. I want a sandwich. I want maybe like an Arby's roast beef, beef and cheddar sandwich. But it's nothing close here. So I am going to make my own beef and cheddar sandwich, my version. So here's what you do. You get yourself uh, the scrambled egg pan, and this is gonna be really easy, okay? This is not like gonna be the healthiest thing in the world, and but it's going to be one, one amazing, delicious sandwich. So you get yourself some roast beef, get it sliced from the deli at, uh, I went to Publix, and um, I had it cut in a way they call it shaved, shaved. All right, so it basically it it basically falls apart. Now you put in the center the amount of roast beef that you want to put into your sandwich. There we go, there we go. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, you twisted my arm. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to pile it up nice and high. This is my scrambled egg pan. And then I'm going to close it back up and zip it back up so it stays fresh. Now I'm going to get some Sargento shredded cheddar. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit on the flat side meaning I'm not making it piled up, okay? I want it kind of flat. Then I'm gonna take the shredded cheddar and I'm just gonna mound that up right on top. Nothing super fancy, just get plenty of cheese on there, okay? Then I'm gonna take this to the fire, the stove, which is on this side. I'm going to take a cover and I'm going to cover the pan. All right, in the meantime, I forgot to tell you, I'm going to take a pep Pepperidge Farm, actually an onion roll, Pepperidge Farm onion with poppy seeds roll, and I'm going to pop it in the toaster. Then I'll be back in two minutes. We'll put the sandwich together. Woo hoo hoo! How good! How good! I just got my Pepperidge Farm uh, onion roll out of the toaster where I toasted it up. I hear my timing is up on the beeper here. I'm going to take the cover off. I got a little steam, but not much because I did not use high heat. Okay, so let's bring this over here so that you can see what Peter is doing. All right, now, if you really want a very Arby's type tasting uh, beef and cheddar roast beef sandwich. You can use Catalina dressing. It's Kraft Catalina dressing. It's just called Classic Catalina. That's it right there. And that is very close, not exactly as good as what uh, Arby's is using, but it will get the job done and you will be happy. However, you can kick it up a notch by getting your favorite barbecue sauce. Either you made it yourself or you actually um, can buy like Sweet Baby Ray's, whatever it's called. So you put your barbecue sauce on the bottom, the red sauce, the red barbecue sauce. This is my own, this is my own barbecue sauce. It works and it works really, really good, okay? Now I'm going to take the melted roast beef sandwich and I'm gonna put it right on the sauce. And the cheese is nice and stringy. Get all the cheese on there. And then I'm gonna put the top on and I have my own version, the Peter Gregg version of Arby's beef and cheddar. So I'm gonna close it up and this is what we've got. Let's cut this guy in half. I usually don't cut my sandwiches in half, but I suddenly got the urge to cut it in half so I can show you the inside. So there we've got, there we've got. Let's see, can I get a closer angle? Where is the, where's the people that run the cameras around here? Can I get a closer angle? Yes, you can. There, 
Can I get it in the middle? So that's going to be my version of uh, Arby's Beef and Cheddar Shredded Roast Beef. When you get it cut thinner than thin, then, then they're going to say, well, it's going to shred. Yes, that's what I want. I want the shredded roast beef. I'm going to pile it in my pan right there where I'm not going to put my glasses in there. I'm going to cover it with uh, either shredded um, cheddar cheese or I I can, you can even use a slice or two or three of American cheese. It will work. And then you put your sauce on the bun. You put your melted roast beef that's melted with the cheese right on top. And then you close your Pepperidge Farm toasted bun. And you've got one amazing sandwich. Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida from Peter's Kitchen. Please subscribe. And those of you guys that are subscribers, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Whoosh. You have just watched another Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I wanted to pop in and say, there's no roast beef police around here. So if you actually want to take a little bit more of your barbecue sauce and use it for dipping, the roast beef police, they're just not around here. So you can actually put a little bit more barbecue sauce on your plate. And dip, 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 dip. Bye. Go, go, go now. Go, 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 go. Just maybe a little bit more. You still here? No? <laughs> I can I can even lick mm, the spoon. Okay, go, go. Go make your own sandwich. Bye. 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 <laughs>